Yo, what's up guys today i will be teaching you how you can make this 3d square effect so let's get into the tutorial start by dragging your adjustment clip into the timeline if you go into the fusion page you will see that the frame rate of adjustment clip is not correct so to fix it we'll go back into the edit page and drag the adjustment clip into the media pool and drag it back into the timeline and now you can see that the frame rate is fixed now add a background node and connect it to media 1 and also attach a rectangle mask to it under controls click on solid in and increase the border width decrease the width and make it square in shape To change the color of the square, click on background node and change the color. Press shift and spacebar simultaneously to open this panel and add soft glow. Play around with the glow settings to get the desired result. Now add drop shadow and increase the shadow strength. After drop shadow add a transform node and place the square over the character. Now copy and paste media 1 node and connect it to merge 1. Also add a polygon tool to it. Click on media 1 and press 1 to see it in the preview. In case you don't have 2 preview option, you can click on this icon to open 2 preview. Now disable the polygon 1 tool and start masking the character. Now enable polygon tool and you will see that the square is behind the character. Also increase the soft edge under polygon tool. Now go to the transform node and keyframe the angle. Set the initial angle to around 45 degrees. Now we will be making graph, so click on spline, angle, click on this icon to see both the keyframes, select both the keyframes and press S on your keyboard. Now make a ease out curve like this. Click on drop shadow and add another transform node. We'll be keyframing the angle again but in the opposite direction this time. Click on spline and make a ease in curve like this. Now I will be making a simple zoom transition. Remember to add the transform nodes after the second merge for the transitions.
so yeah that's it for the tutorial if you have any queries or suggestions please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching and have a nice day